incredible event down at Ohanimotu called Waitangi 2023 for the love of the people. And they have contracted me for a few things, but the thing I'm most excited about is a fine art living sculpture installation of Kurunaituku, my vision of Kurunaituku, the bird woman of local Te Aroa legend. So it's a great honour to be creating this vision and working with this kōrero and she's been a hard mistress, I tell you that. Um, <laughs> when I first first conceived of the sculpture on a living living person um, I thought oh a beautiful headdress and you know I'm painting some feathers and a beak for a nose and all of the other things that you'd think of in a body painting of a bird woman but no no do you know what she wanted? She wanted every single feather that I placed within her creation to be collected from the local rohe. So from the land around Rotorua, I had to spend months with Tony, with my friends, um, traipsing around, picking feathers up from lakes and swamps and on my walks in the morning. and. Um, <clears throat> all sorts of places where the birds had died of natural causes and I could salvage some of their feathers and give them some life again in this incredible artwork. They, every feather, even her eyelashes, <laughs> have come from the land. So that's one of the main elements of her artwork and the second main element of her artwork is kukuai, sacred red oak of the blood of the earth. So it's very special to be using this. This was hand collected by myself with tikanga. Um, I offered some of my own hair, which is something that I've done intuitively and naturally. Um, and karakia and prayer, of course, introducing myself to the maunga although the Munga knows me very well by now, introducing myself to the trees, they too know me, but introducing my purpose before taking it and why I needed to gather this and what it was going to be used for and the respect it was going to be used with and for the, the purpose, the kaupapa here um, of why I'm creating this heart work that needed this, this sacred red ochre. So she will be painted with the sacred red ochre first and foremost. Um, all the elements of her are also being painted with the red ochre. And she is being, the red ochre is being mixed with rainwater that, of course, I was instructed to collect from the recent storms that we've had in Rotorua. So this has come from the sky. Um, and this has come from the land. And every single feather that I have collected for this has also come from the land. And it is a mission. <laughs> and it is incredible. It's been such a beautiful process just connecting and learning and in a very, very real sense being told what to do. So I might be the physical arms of and hands of creation, but a lot of the time my artwork comes through me. Um, like I said in one of my videos the other day, through me, not for me, it's like a being of its own. And this is extra special, of course, because she will literally physically be a being of her own. And I'm working with Connie Takarangi, who is another incredible artist that I've been blessed to bring on board as the model for Kurunaituku, uh, my vision of the bird woman. And she 
she is a dancer and she has heart and she has soul and she she really has the passion for this and she connected with the energy of it almost straight away as soon as I was speaking to her about it the project called her and that's what you want when you're looking for a model you're looking for the energy to not only attract them but call them she knew exactly exactly what what was needed and the artwork started speaking to her too so we're going to start this process at 5 a.m on monday morning <laughs> at my um, studio here and of course I've been working on it for months and Connie's been rehearsing and um, Kudanai Tuku is just going to be like you've never seen her before. So I feel that this energy at the moment, it's funny because she's really or at least the energy of this heartwork that I'm creating has been speaking to me about the the shadow work, the darkness that we're all going through worldwide at the moment, and how we need to navigate that with a bit of fearsome strength and warrior warrior-like wisdom and we need to really connect with that dark feminine energy that lives within all of us even the men and honor it instead of being afraid of it and allow it in a sense to lead us and heal us because truly it is only by going through those things that scare us the most by walking through the darkness, by facing our fears head on, that we will find the light and going straight through and not avoiding, not light washing, not pretending that everything is fine is truly the, the mahi of enlightenment, I believe.